And Ooh. by a popular request, everyone wants to know about my birth control update, going off the pill and using the diaphragm now. Yes, and I got that. I've, I've gotten several letters recently from young women who have done the same thing. I know. I'm going to take a little bit of credit, but I think it's really... We've been talking about me going off the pill and doing the diaphragm and blogging about it it's the for minute, like two years. The minute we went into business together and I knew that you were on the pill. She was like, get off the pill. Get off the pill. It's a hormone. You are... You are imitating pregnancy well that's what it does so your body doesn't <sighs> implant any eggs so you can have unprotected sex because your body is in a state of it thinks it's pregnant you're fooling your body that it's pregnant so when you go off the hormones <laughs> da -da -dum, da -da -dum, all of a sudden da -da -dum. your libido goes through the roof which is not a bad thing no it's a positive because before it was like a, a sex is always great but it was never like i felt compelled that I, I had to have sex or I had to penetrate myself or, I, you know. No, it, it's, it's not compelled. It's like a desire. Yeah. Desire returns. The desire returns. The desire. Exactly. It's, it, otherwise, it's just like a mechanical thing. Oh, your boyfriend wants to have sex, so you're going to have sex. Or Saturday night. Yeah, it's time <laughs> to have sex. But it's never this feeling of, oh, I want to have sex. And I find, like, my body, I go flush a lot. Like, I'll think of something or I'll be working on the site, and then all of a sudden I feel flush, I feel hot. Oh, and my heat, cheeks heat are, waves, yeah. We're getting heat waves. I'm having a heat wave, <laughs> a tropical heat wave. <laughs> Get off the hormones, women! Oh, and my vagina. I am, my lubrication and secretions are like triple what they normally are. There you have it. By the 70s, when we were doing all our mm -hmm. sex parties, everyone, all of the women were on the pill. And I couldn't, and I just, I thought about it. You couldn't do it. And I couldn't do it because it's just that, my mother raised me to question anything that comes out of the medical professions. <laughs> Everything, anything, question. Don't, she, she, Betty Ann, you know those doctors, they don't always know what they're talking about. And I'll take a rubber disc with a, some spermicide, slip it right in. Oh, right, like, oh. just not how we, going to the pharmacy to pick up the pills every month. It was always like, oh my God, I got to pick them up by tomorrow. And I was always racing to the pharmacy, like, that's gone. It, it's it, really nice. It's pathetic. It is pathetic that, we, that we're doing this to our bodies for some reason. The only problem that I had with the diaphragm was when I was married. I put it in every night hoping that we would have sex, and we never did. So then it's like, then the diaphragm is simply a reminder of all the sex I wasn't having. Oh. Well, yes. So, but divorced? Having sex with a lot of different people. If you have a date or you know something's that you just slip it in and you go out. I never had to put it in. Be, and be, I put it in, and it didn't mean that I had to have sex. It just meant that when I put on my makeup, I put on my lipstick. It's and part I, of the process. What? It's part of the process of I put in my diaphragm, out. exactly. And it wasn't that we were going to have sex or we had to have sex or, you know, it was simply part of getting ready to go out on a date. Yeah. No expectations. I'd come home, and I'd wash my face. And if you and didn't I'd use it, you just pull it take out. Take it out. Easy. It is the simplest. And it took me, I had to use a diaphragm inserter because I have little short hands. I have long fingers. And have you have no that. trouble getting it in and getting it out. Now, I did learn something when I was taking it out once. It was like a suction. It kind of suctioned it in. Oh, it'll <laughs> and I couldn't. And so what I did is I took my finger between the diaphragm and put some air in there. and just went, broke the seal, and then pulled it out. And very, then, very simple. Simple. Rinse it off. Pat it dry, put a little talc on powder, put it back in its little case. Yeah, it's easy. It's so simple. Oh, we're really promoting the diaphragm, and, and Planned Parenthood does carry them. Yes, yeah, so you can get them at any clinic. You really can. And here's the other thing. Big Pharma doesn't make any money off of it. <laughs> That's my favorite thing of all. Yeah. It. It's a one-time expense of like $50, and then like a $3 lo uh, spermicide that you have to pick up. I don't know, once every year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There you have it's it. It's so easy, and I feel so... I feel so good. Alive. I feel alive, and like everything in my life right now is very stressful, but I feel very... On top of it. On top of it, and comfortable, and at peace with myself and my body. I feel more appreciative of myself. Yes. You're more in touch. Literally. More in touch. And I love putting my fingers inside myself and kind of being more connected yes. to my, you know, reproductive system. Absolutely. There's something psychological to that. Okay. We've made it very clear, all the young women out there, 
Get your diaphragm. Get off the hormones. It'll change your life very positively.